When did you decide how you see the world and what your values are? When I was 14 years old, I decided to pursue a career in the science of education, in elementary pedagogy. While I was in my educational high school pursuing this career path, I became more and more interested in politics, in international relations, and in civic engagement. I became involved in a variety of projects and initiatives, and I became really passionate about it. So by the time I graduated from high school and I received my diploma in elementary education, I already decided that I'm going to study political science and that now I actually want to pursue a career in international relations. And for me, this actually was not a big step. For me, it really logically and organically followed after each other, going from being an elementary pedagogue towards political science and a career in international relations. Today, I'm talking to you as the youth delegate to the United Nations for Austria. And in this position, I am combining the seemingly contradictory concepts of early childhood education and world politics. As a youth delegate to the United Nations, one of the concepts that I am most familiar with is the Global Agenda for Sustainable Development, which should be achieved by 2030. World leaders have committed towards doing everything in their power to achieve these goals. And I believe that if we really do want to achieve these goals, we need to get everyone involved. We need to get everyone involved to in order to achieve this just world, where everyone can live in dignity. So, let me ask you again. When did you decide how you see the world and what your values are? If we do want to achieve the Global Agenda 2030, we need to make it part of each and everyone's concept of values. It is between the ages of two and three years when a child, for the very first time, develops first roots of empathy. And science proves that in early childhood development psychology, until the age of five, a human being has already developed their general concept of values. So, this should make us think. It is thus that if we want a future world where the sustainable development goals become a lived reality, we should give the youngest of our societies the chance and the opportunity to shape the world that we are living in. We need to give them the chance to have heard of and experienced what sustainable development means and we need to give them the chance to make it part of their construct of values. But how do you teach a global agenda negotiated by world diplomats to young children? The science of education. Pedagogy. Pedagogy is the science, the technology and the art of teaching and educating children. The famous pedagogue, scientist of education, Maria Montessori once said, help me to do it myself. So, let's exactly do this. Let's help and support young children to understand and shape the world that we are living in together with them. Children love learning. They love to explore. And children are very, very creative. They find interesting answers to questions we didn't even ask yet. And teaching the Global Agenda 2030 
to children starts with simple questions. Where does our garbage go? Where does our water come from? Where is this where we live? And how is this in other parts of the world? So, let's follow a two-tiered approach. First, let's use the science of education to plan and to practice sessions in kindergarten dedicated towards the SDGs. We can let the children feel, experience and understand the importance of each of the SDGs by philosophizing with them, by vividly telling stories, by letting them experiment and by helping them being aware of their rights as a child. We can help them express their opinion on each of the different goals. And we can show them what goals we have, but even more importantly, why we have them and why it might be important to, de to tell about the goals to other people. Second, children don't only listen to what we say, they mainly watch what we do. So let's be role models and let's practice what we preach. Let's set our daily actions accordingly and separate the garbage together with them. Let's mainstream gender equality into the interaction with children. And let's do this at every given time. Let's give children the chance to learn from our positive examples. We can make the SDGs part of our daily lived culture. And we can actually make them part of our concept of values. Let's implement the Agenda 2030 in early childhood education on every level possible. And let's listen to the ideas and actions that children want to implement. Once children have an understanding of the SDGs and why they are necessary, they will be inspired to make positive changes, big and small ones. And this goes even further. They will go home and they will tell their parents about it. And they will be part, an active part, in shaping the world that they are growing up in. I have talked about elementary pedagogy, the science of education, and about the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. If we want to achieve the global goals, we need to teach them from the very beginning in early childhood education, in elementary education. And we need to give the youngest of our society the chance to become active global citizens while granting them their right to be involved in the processes that concern them. I want you to take three points with you. First, if you're a parent, be role models. Engage your children in what you're doing. Give them the chance to develop their own opinion and be self-confident, self-confident drivers of change. We need them. Second, if you're a politician, are part of the decision-making process and involved in national curricula for educating your pedagogues. Make the Sustainable Development Agenda part of their education and mainstream the Sustainable Development Agenda in every part of the education. Third, if you are a pedagogue working with young children, teach them their rights. Design, use, and practice sessions dedicated towards the SDGs and let them become part of your culture and help the children being knowledgeable and confident about what they want and what they can do in order to shape the world that they want. Finally, 
I want to address all of you and spread the word. Do you know someone working with young children who would want to bring the SDGs closer to children into elementary pedagogy? Or are you interested in learning more about how to teach children about the sustainable development? I generally hope that TEDx will have a snowball effect towards raising more awareness that we need to get everyone involved from their early years. Together with pedagogues, teachers, parents, decision makers and children, we can be a powerful force for achieving the UN's vision of a more peaceful, healthy and equitable world. Think about when you first heard about the Sustainable Development Goals. Maybe three years ago? Well, let's now think about the fact that we do now have the chance to raise a generation that lives with the Sustainable Development Goals from their very early childhood. We have the chance to raise a generation that can actually have the Sustainable Development Goals in mind while building and developing their construct of values. So, let's give this future generation the chance to develop their concept of values while being aware of the global goals, while being aware of their rights, and while being aware of the world that they want. Thank you.